Hey everybody, welcome back. It's probably the last video on the weekly this week. And I'm telling you, I would love to go out on a positive note. <laughs> Be like a big husband. I don't think I'm a big husband. I think I'm around average husband size. I'm going to need a, a, a data check on that one. Holy cow, we're getting wins in the early game again. But it was the most appropriate name available, okay? So freaking sue me. Just sue me. What a show. Not even the name of the show, but imagine if it was. Just sue me. Oh, are you thinking of Ally McBeal? <laughs> no, not really. Not really. And hey, you kids these days, they still know about Ally McBeal. They know about the dancing baby and all that. We win again. Okay, I feel like this team is great. All we need is an early jellyfish and it's smooth sailing. You had, you had one job. Puppy is fine early. And an early giraffe. Like, I think th this is good stuff. Take puppy. And I'm going to stock one free lasagna. I'm going to buy the giraffe, and I'm going to use the giraffe to buff the puppy. Why the puppy? Because I think this gives me the option to keep the puppy around, which allows me to keep buying more puppies, which allows me to keep getting lasagnas, eventually get more lasagnas, get some stats out of it, and then we're, we're feeling not so bad, maybe. Holy cow, we won again. Actually, this weekly is pretty good. I would buy, I would buy, I would probably buy honey if I have to. It's honestly jellyfish, if you wanted it, you already missed your chance, I'm sorry to say. So we're about to get a lasagna. What would go hard next is another puppy. And we're going to feed the puppy the lasagna. No doubt about that. Anytime I see a betta fish, I'm like, I'm, I'm scared of it. It's a scary looking unit there. And yet, feeling great. It's already like my third best run of the weekly so far. That's a little sad and a little scary, but it's true. Okay, buff the puppy. Level 3 moth. You probably could get a Doberman pivot going here, but I'm not going to mess with the team that much. I actually feel like perhaps Llama with a, with a buy sell attached to it. We don't have anything that gets like buy sell triggers. But we can get stats. You probably start buffing the Llama. It's a perfect time for another puppy to show up. Stock a lasagna. Move the llama to the front. It probably gets enough value just from the the moth to one for one. Then you need your puppy to two for one, and then maybe your moth two for ones, and you're right in there. It's complicated. None of these were like one for one trades, so I don't know where we stand right now. Oh, we stand good! We stand good! At least decent. Give me a giraffe. I know a salad's like not that impressive, but we're really like we're in kind of tight right now, so I'm just doing what I can here. We the turn order matters a great deal. Also, I'm not buffing the llama, I'm buffing my puppy, but you know what? Sometimes the llama gets maxed, so maybe maybe it's unintentionally good that we're buffing the the llama here instead. My god. Six wins. In six rounds. Lasagna. I'm going to put it on you. I'm going to buy another one. I'm going to get two lasagnas. Put this on you. I love a Niala, man. Does it beat a moth? I don't think it beats a moth. Does it beat a 1-1 a one -one giraffe? I think it beats a 1-1 one -one giraffe pretty quick. <laughs> I mean, it's or a, a giraffe that gives 1-1. One, one. Now, it won't give 1-1 one, one forever, but still. One extra gold. It's fine. Because, I, I mean, it, it's a 3-4 itself that generates an 8-8. Eight, eight. It takes a long time for our giraffe to create those kind of stats. Maybe it's not exactly like a 1-1 one -one comparison, but still. So they're going to have a super beta fish. We're still chilling. Okay, there's 7. Just keep it going. And if we make it to chocolate and we get great amounts of chocolate, the world's our oyster. There's stats. There's stats. If I have to. Yeah, I have to. Okay, we'll, we'll take that. At least we got 
we, we didn't get a lot of juice, but we juiced the whole fruit on that one. We got a, a low roll orange. And you know what? That's okay. That's life sometimes. Sometimes you're going to low roll an orange. This couldn't have gone better. We, we got a little lucky, and I'm, I'm grateful for it. Eight straight wins. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. No chocolate. I don't think I would buy you with this. I would buy you for sure, but... Give me this. Give me this. Give me this. Give me two more lasagnas. Although, at this point, I'm like, dude, if we just... If you want to just run for the goal here, you think that... I, I think maybe that's the pivot we make. I'm not buying a penguin at this stage in my life. It's a little late for that. I will definitely purchase a llama. The scaling is, is meaningful. I think the moth is still doing pretty well. Uh, level two... Level 2 Niala would kind of go crazy, I think. It would also be... Oh, we're not even in Lemon Territory yet. I'm praying. I'm, pr I'm, I'm waving my hands together in prayer. I think we got this one too. Okay, nine straight wins. I'm trying not to let myself get too hyped up. But could you imagine? And then you're gone? And we go with the Pteranodon? And roll once. Oh, it, sorry. <laughs> Buy chocolate for you so we can get three weakness on the next turn if we don't win this one. Oh! <laughs> Please. No snipes? Not the Pteranodon? You sniped my Pteranodon! You took everything from me. And yet, and yet, thank you! Now that's something. Game one, print screen. Game one, turn 10, no losses. I'm not saying we mastered this weekly. So that felt very nice. <laughs> that felt very vindicating after, uh, after a weekly that had not been particularly strong for us. And I'm not even saying we made all the right moves at exactly the right time. I guess I'll be an overpowered sausage. Should have gone with Jim on that one. And now, I, no matter how the rest of the video goes, I'm happy. Clap along if you feel like a room without a roof. I'm clapping along. Is that a good thing? I don't know. But I am clapping. Clap along if you feel like happiness is the truth. This is a very weird setup, but allow me. Hey, we had a draw, so we 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 officially broke in the perfection, which is good because it's like a, you know, it's a bit of a. The expectations are lower now as a result. Let's put it that way, and the expectations are immediately right back up because we crushed Big Bungus Boy. A level. Thank you so much. Another an early giraffe. I would say yes. I would. Who says no? And honestly, out of all these units. You, you keep the moth buffing. It's the only unit of the four here, the four unique units we're likely to keep around. So I'm, I'm legitimately, I'm, I'm keeping my expectations, let's call them tempered. I'm keeping my expectations tempered here. Nice egg build. Would be a shame if someone also was running an egg build. I'm, I'm trying not to exclusively let my feelings of either success or failure on this run be dictated by okay fine you know what while we're here because we, we need to spend our money and at least this thing gives us some capital and can also is a good recipient of a moth buff i suppose but um i would rather rather have a better fish for sure but i still think we're looking breezy here I'm trying not to let my happiness be dictated by the most recent data point, which will be like our last run this weekly. Instead, I'm trying to let it be dictated by the last video because that serves me better because we did fantastically on our first run in this video. Straight up, you gotta go. We gotta get some stats. I'll admit to you that we have no future potential. That's what makes it different from our last run is that like as of right now, we have no um, scaling. Whereas last time, we were getting scaling via 
lasagnas from the puppy. We were also getting scaling via the llama, at least like pretty soon around this point. Um, so we're, we're not in as good of a spot as we were on the last one, but we're still doing really well. You know, I almost feel like we're being best served by... In my head, I'm like, oh, you know what it is? It's because we're thinking about the now instead of thinking about the future. We're not trying to get to 10 wins. We're just trying to get the next win, which convert maybe counterintuitively is the easiest way to build a team accidentally or organically that gets to 10 wins. But I think what's actually happening here is that I just have a moth. <laughs> and my moth is the difference maker. What do you think about trying... A whale shark, because it can be a scale shark. What do you think about that? We don't really like the foods that show up next too much. Two, two buff or something. I'm gonna keep buffing the moth. I mean, I, I think it can stick around for a bit. At, at some point, this uh, goldfish is gonna get sold, but it's doing great work for now, and I, I respect and I appreciate that, and I'm very thankful to have it on the team, quite frankly. But the moth is. Oh, and no, no, never mind. The moth's not doing great work. It's all falling apart. First loss in the whole video. 11 minutes in. Oh, no. Here it comes. Did you take two of these? I simply don't think that the giraffe is likely to stick around much longer. The ant has to go, but it has to be... I mean, I want to replace it with... Niala, Pteranodon, Tiger, Lynx, like some, some combination of these. That's a really strong whale shark there. I gotta give you credit. Nice, nice baboons. I think I would absolutely sell you. I mean, this is not like a high tier food at this point, but at least it's something. And to be honest, I think more than anything else, we probably need toilet paper. We need something that like neutralizes that's very nice interesting sell you for eight <laughs> let me think about this sell you for eight go to eight i'm willing to do it next round because next round is also when chocolate shows up so we'll sell you for 10 We'll take one turn of toilet paper. If we win, we'll probably level up our puppy and then try to get two lasagnas out of it instead. It's one... Uh, we wouldn't have gotten there anyway, but we were one HP off. I still think we're going to go double... Well, I don't know. We kind of need to get ourselves back in the game. So we would probably buy... Buy, buy. Skip the first one. Take the second one. Make the first two enemies weak. Sell, and maybe this is the play now. Sell, we're on 12 gold. We're looking for scaling, but we're also looking for chocolate for our whale shark. And then we can buy perks for it. You're just a tier one. Four, three unit. Didn't get as much out of this as I thought I would. Maybe it's okay. Maybe don't panic. A lot of tier ones. We're on two life still. The problem is now I'm realizing I'm never going to spend any money on our whale shark. Which is okay because it's a 16-19. But like we need it to scale just via the dragon. So maybe we spend our chocolate on the dragon instead of on the whale shark. That was a close one. <laughs> that was mighty tight. So I'm going to make a bizarre turn here, perhaps. So I'm going to go with this. Sell ya. Buy ya. Sell ya. Buy ya. Sell ya. Roll once. See if you get a chocolate. We don't. We get a puppy. It's kind of tempting to keep a puppy around for the double weakness, to, to be quite frank with you. I don't think we're going to get there without a level 2 dragon. We may not get there without a level 2 dragon. Dude, these wins, I'm so happy we're winning, but they're so tight. <laughs> they're like so much less uh, automatic than the wins were last time that it's freaking me out. 
We're sticking with the lasagnas. We got no, uh, no chocolate, no dragon. Now we have a dragon. Ho, 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 I have a machine gun. Why don't you freeze me? We can afford to lose one round. Roll once for your free reroll as well. Next turn, we get the free dragon level up, and then as many tier ones, don't, like Jack Nicholson said in uh, The Departed, don't stop till you're numb. Okay, this is just a very strong team. Your, uh, your Doberman was just, it was just too good, quite frankly. And then the rest of your squad is also insanely annoying, so congrats. Some of this, don't need it. Definitely need it. Definitely freeze it. It's like Highway Star. I love it. I need it. I freeze it. Yeah, it's a dragon run. All right, hold tight. I'm a sapping star. No, no, it's, that's nothing. I'm being told it's nothing. Greatest, uh, highest value toilet paper in all time, of all time, next to uh, right when the pandemic started and you couldn't buy it anywhere. Okay, that's why you always take a gecko on the squad. Look at that. One of these. I still I have a hard time imagining this squad getting to 10, but we don't need to imagine it if we could simply see it instead. We have no toy this time. Very unfortunate. I would just go straight for you there. Um, the hard part is that being on a level 3 dragon is fantastic. But it's going to cost us like a turn of basically not improving in order to get the level 3 dragon. And then we have, we're betting that that's going to be what gets us over the hump. And it could be, I mean, listen, you don't get that many opportunities to get a level three dragon. I think when it shows up, you have to say, you have to say yes. The order of our squad doesn't matter. I'm not selling a 27. In, literally in my head, I was like, I could sell the puppy and buy a Komodo dragon. Yeah, get a 4-4 buff, lose a 27-27 unit. Pretty standard, really. So this, again, we, we made a lateral move, basically that could scale us nicely next time. Nobody died to a Lynx. As a Lynx user myself, I know the, the pain involved in that transaction. It looks like we're going to nine. It was pretty close. <laughs> now to get a lot of tier ones would really hit the spot. I have to, and then I still think that the toilet paper is goaded here. And I was just gonna say, at least a couple of tier ones, just don't, don't screw me, you know? I mean, just that in and of itself is, is pretty nice. And we might as well roll, and that's okay. I think that this squad has a chance. Not guaranteed, but a chance. Double weakness, I don't know if that was even relevant there. The rest of their squad doesn't look that strong, but the Spinosaurus at the back looks kind of strong. It doesn't look that strong. It doesn't look that strong! <laughs> Oh, man. Now, here's how you know I'm playing this for the love of the game, okay? We got two 10 pieces in a, the last video on a weekly where I was getting my butt kicked the whole time. You got it, right? Um, I'm running it back because I've got nine minutes. So I might as well. And I'll be like a cliche crook or something. So, hey, use, give me your wallet. Mr. and Mrs. Wayne outside of the opera. Hey, listen, young man, you don't have to return to a life of crime. Why don't you come down to my mansion? I'll give you a job. You can be my new Alfred. I don't want a job. I want your pearls. Give me those. No, stop him. Stop. What's Bruce Wayne's dad again? Stop him, Mr. Wayne, my husband. Stop him. Bang! Bang! Pearls in the alley. You know the... You know how it goes. You've seen uh, like a movie or something, I'd imagine. Okay, so this is where it all comes together. <laughs> There's uh, pearls in the alley. I don't know why it's got me feeling like I, I was singing You Can Call Me Al. Scattering of orphanages. He looks around and around. He sees bats in his bat cave. It's 
flying in infinity. He says, hey, I'll be Batman if you'll be my butler. I will be a day you ask. Yeah. Paul Simon, anybody? Nobody. Okay, check this out. Bear me. Penguin me. And then... Run the squad thusly. Maybe a rat would have been nice here for stats, now that I think about it. But check this out, okay? Bear is, has good, good stats. It faints. It gives a honey to a penguin, which buffs our ladybug. I know, how bizarre. I can see this cat. He's getting ready to go into the cords. There will be no cords for you today, okay? Do not go into the cords. Do not get... I see you no matter... I, I'm moving you around and you're angling yourself to be pointed towards the cords. I know it's a very strange build here. Especially because we're doubling down on a team that has not worked. <laughs> I'm going bear build, man. I don't think bear and ladybug is like a goaded strategy, but... You could keep the bear and get like a Spinosaurus later if you're lucky enough to live that long. I love it. I love it. We're so back. Jim Henson's The Lord of the Millionaires. I like the naming convention. Now I'll also tell you, I feel like Puppy was doing great stuff for us. Um, I think we stock lasagna with the puppy until we need to override equipment. And we definitely do not need to override equipment right away. Still interested? St now this is what, it was a big gamble keeping the African uh, penguin around because it's not very good. But it could be slightly less horrendous if it gets to level two. And then at level three, it could be briefly like kind of good and then immediately completely useless again because we could never get another trigger out of it without the waffle, which doesn't exist this weekly. Um, but that was kind of nice. I guess it's the next thing I'm going to sell. I, I like a falcon. Hey, Ruka, I see you. He's going into the freaking cords. What did I tell you? You corny, corny boy. Get out of there. These USBs, they're on death's door as is, man. Yo, no, 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 no. Out. Out, please. Out. Cat psychology, man. <laughs> Drop my dang PS5 controller on my head. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, one second. You, you get out of here. Nobody makes me embarrass myself on YouTube except me, okay? <clears throat> Sorry you had to see that. Sorry you had to witness that. Roll me, buy me, place me, roll me. Is this crazy? I mean, I bought it instead of rolling. You get the idea. Our ladybug's gonna go crazy mode. Is it possible we can level, we can lasagna our falcon fast enough? I think we need it to be like a 40-40. That's not easy now that I think about it. <laughs> That's a long way away. The heck, world's strongest pangolin. And yet, we win? You know what's crazy? You're probably like, oh my god, how tangled are the cords that just being under his desk caused his uh, PlayStation 5 controller to fall on his head? Me, the person who's actually living in this reality, Oh my god, I'm so thankful that when I went under my desk, nothing immediately got unplugged, shorted out, and ruined the video. And they'll keep you around. The falcon... Oh, the cheese is useless because he's going to get the honey from the bear. What a waste of, of precious resources. This one is not even close. Okay. It's actually, it was not that far off. He had two horrible units left. It just so happens that my squad was exclusively consisting of horrible units. So this is a problem because you can't really go to the front. Like, I can do this. 
But I can't run you in the front because then you're going to summon things, but you're probably going to live and then you see the problem. So you could sell the bear, at which point you'd basically be admitting you're selling the ladybug as well. So we got to figure out how we're getting out of this. Lynx is good. The pivot is really hard here, though, because we're so close to death. So instead, I guess I'm just going to continue business as usual and then, like, probably die. You take this just so we have a unit at the back. Yeah, this squad has a no future. <laughs> Actually, it has, a, it has an immediately great future, which is me feeding two lasagnas to my falcon. And then after that, it all falls apart. But... If we, you know, maybe this is a good time to measure our expectations and just accept that, you know, maybe this isn't destined to be a 10-piece. We'd be happy to just get what we can get here. Two Lazans, thank you. What do you mean not enough gold? I had enough gold, I assure you. Could get a level 5 toy. The lasagnas are kind of nice, though. You know what? Okay, you're gone. You're here. You're leveling. That's beautiful. I don't think there's enough good foods this week for the cat to go crazy. I'm going to take a Komodo, and all, it's, it's a huge, like, risk. But I'm just going to pray that the Komodo doesn't shuffle Falcon to the front too much. Which I believe is something we've tried to do many times in the past, and then it oftentimes does shuffle it to the front. But that was last time, and this is this time, brother. It's a different world. Now, we're going to be on lethal. That was pretty much set in stone, because we're basically trying to sell our whole squad and get some pteranodons and tigers out there. At least let me live long enough to eat my freaking lasagna. Anything? Well, there goes the goose buff. Really not what we're looking for, man. I'll, I'll lemon you in an, in an act of desperation and prayer. Probably should have kept the puppy around as well. We can't really complain. The falcon's at the back. Shark. It's a nasty shark. Or is it? Wait, I'm looking at this and I'm saying perhaps the shark is not as nasty as previously thought. Summon a lad. Summon another lad. 16. We got our own. Okay, we're, we'll draw. You know what that means. We live long enough to eat our lasagna. Two lasagnas for you. A Niala. Chocolates. Chocolates. Thank you. So I will take it. I will take it. We got a Pteranodon. If we have a Pteranodon, we need to sell the Komodo to place the Pteranodon effectively. And now the squad looks like this. Now all we have to worry about is being sniped. But luckily, only every team in history has a Lynx. Yep. <laughs> it, it, it sniped something so I could summon something. It's going to summon an extra Niala. That's, I think it was even a, it, it was like an equivalent Niala. I thought maybe it could be a better Niala. But like, don't, don't kid yourself. It's not a better Niala. It's an equivalent Niala. Look at that. That's a beautiful thing right there. 4848 dog. Thank you for the help. We're so back. 16. 62. You're gone. <laughs> puppy. Why am I keeping puppy? <laughs> yes. Yes. Chocolate me? They chocolated me. Jerry? Yeah, this is right. It's not... Th these don't really work with the Spinosaurus because the dog... Well, maybe they do. Never mind. I don't know. I'm kind of talking out of my you-know-what. Okay, both of the my units getting sniped there means that this weekly is over. But you know what? They're never going to be able to take this video away from me. The PlayStation 5 controller fell on my head, but we got two 10 pieces, one of which was flawless. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!